So I get asked pretty often, how do I get a job in cybersecurity when I don't have a college degree and I don't really have the funds to pay for any kind of certification and you don't have any work experience? It really sounds like a doomsday situation, but there are fields in the tech industry where you don't have to have certifications or a college degree in order to get these jobs. And specifically what I'm thinking about is programming. In the programming world, a lot of people can just get a job based on their GitHub or a resume that has a lot of links to projects that they have made. And they don't even have to be projects that have been sold or deployed, but employers just wanna see that you know how to write code. So in the cybersecurity field, this is definitely not the trend, but I think you could get a job without certifications and without any kind of college degree if you have a really good resume. And what I mean by a resume in this video, I think I'm going to be talking more about a portfolio. And if you're thinking I don't have any of those projects or haven't done anything like that, then don't worry on my channel and also in the future, I'm going to be putting together different videos where you can follow along and make your own tools in Python or a vulnerable website out of JavaScript, Node.js, and a MySQL database. Actually, over the weekend, I spent some time building this little website right here specifically for this reason. I wanted to give you an example of what a portfolio could look like, and you could host up some of your different projects and have a good solid portfolio that you have built and customized all on your own. It's really not that hard. And then we're gonna take that portfolio and we're gonna link it to a SQL database and we'll be able to come over here and create a user and also be able to hack into our own website. But that is for a different video. In this video, I wanna just show you what a resume or a potential resume could look like. So today I went ahead and put this together so you could get an idea of what it looks like. I have no work experience on here, no certifications and no college degrees. And under related experience, this is where you're going to put the things that you have created or done. So on my YouTube channel, everything that is starred right here is something you can go and follow along and build your own version of and also modify it. So we can create an API fuzzer. We are going to, in the next week, be building a vulnerable web app or, portfo or portfolio that I have already shown you. We're gonna create it with JavaScript, a fetch API, Node.js, and a MySQL database. We're also gonna be using Express.js, which you use with Node, but I couldn't add Express in here or database went on to the next line. So we left that out. We have also made a GitHub secret scraper using Python, and here's the information about that. And we have the link to our GitHub page every time we mention that we have built something. And I put it in italicize and bold the things I want to stand out. So bold, I want them to see what I've done. So if somebody gets a hold of my resume, they're gonna be able to see, okay, you've created several different things. You obviously have some experience with programming and then they can come down here and see you have experience with capture the flags and you actually know how to hack because you have rooted nearly at 50 boxes. You can put in there your hack the box username, which this is not actually my hack the box username, your hack the box ranking, and they'll be able to see if this is interesting to them, then they'll be able to come down here to the unbold information and read it. So you wanna bold what you want to stand out to the potential employer. And so created a home Active Directory Lab. I actually have not done this and I haven't done it on my website, but I know TCM does and I think John Hammond has a video as well where he creates an Active Directory on his local machine and you can find those on YouTube. And if you've done any kind of bug bounties, then you can put down those as well. And you may want this at the top. I put it at the top, but I didn't like having bold on top of bold, so I moved it all the way to the bottom. You're also gonna to wanna to have programming languages listed. A lot of companies are gonna want you to do some kind of code review. So if you can read Python, Bash, JavaScript, I actually have the Mern stack right here. I actually really, really hate MongoDB, but I can use it if I have to. So programming languages is going to be something you're gonna to wanna to list. I have just some basic skills that you're gonna to need to know if you wanna be an ethical hacker. I added languages in here just because I needed to fill up a, another line. So this would be a sample resume for someone who doesn't have 
have experience in the world of cybersecurity and you don't have the ability to pay for certifications or multiple certifications like a lot of companies will request. And I don't actually know if a resume like this will land you a job, just to be clear. In the programming world, something like this would be desired because you're actually proving that you can do the job. But in the cybersecurity field, I know certifications are really, really sought after because it kind of proves, especially the practical certifications like the PNPT and the OSCP that you actually know what you're doing and can hack. But if that is not an option, I think this is a good way to go because you actually are able to prove that you have the ability to write code, find vulnerable code, and exploit different machines through Hack the Box or other CTFs. So if you can come up with anything else that you think would be helpful to add to a resume, please let me know down in the comments below and we'll start building our portfolio and vulnerable web app in the next video. Thanks for watching.